beauty. So I've had this box now for a week and I thought I could actually sit and go through the contents of it, let you know what I think of it in terms of how it sounds um, and um, all that stuff. You've already had to hopefully possibly have a look at my other video which was my unboxing video. So uh, you've seen what's in here so I'm not going to dwell too much on packaging and things like that because we've done that already. I'm going to dwell on the other stuff. Now, before I start, there's quite a lot of heated debate about... Um, well, there's always a lot of heated debate about anything musical, whether uh, whether the mix is right or whether it sounds this, that or the other. Um, so I'm completely open and happy for other opinions other than my own. Of course I am. Um, so please let me know if you disagree, and that's great. Um, you know what, I... I listen to things like that with an open with an open ear and hopefully I can be, I can grow as a result of differing opinions. Um, so please, I'm not precious about my opinions necessarily, but they're just what they are at the current moment. So we start off uh, with Live. Um, so the only copy of Low I've got is a black RCA label released from about uh, 81, 82, something like that. Um, and that's, it sounds absolutely great, it sounds lovely, it sounds fine. This one sounds a lot better, a lot better. Um, um, a lot cleaner, a lot crisper. Um, side A is, um, so that's speed of life, sound and vision, all that stuff. That's, um, it's good. Um, but side B, for me, on my system, sounds terrific. And I'm really, really pleased with that. Um, I know there's been a lot of debate about the mix on this one, on the Hoffman forms and all kinds of different stuff. So, you know, make your own mind up when you when you listen. But I personally, I'm quite happy with that. And that is a great album to start with. So that's for me, sounds phenomenal. Um, Next up, uh, we've got Heroes. <clears throat> kind of probably the most famous song in the whole box, really. Uh, the song Heroes and the album that goes with it. Um, there's an issue with this one, really. Um, there's a drop in sound. I can't remember where it is, about three minutes or so. When they've mastered it, it's it's kind of built up. And then they've over, it feels to me like they've over-compressed it and squidged it down too much. And do you know what? It, it's... Um, if it's background music and I'm just not listening carefully to it, I don't notice. And I didn't notice the first time I listened to it because I stuck it on, paid attention for the first couple of tracks, Beauty and the Beast and and whatnot. And and then I started doing something. I did some some you know work on my laptop or I can't remember what it was. And I didn't notice. And then I started reading the reviews coming in. I thought, oh my god, I'll give that a second listen. Uh, and it is noticeable now. I noticed it um, on the track Heroes. This is not just the album; it's the track. And and it kind of. Yeah, I mean, as for a great album, especially Side B, I really love Side B. You know, Schneid, V2 Sh Schneider and, and and so on. Um, it's kind of it's kind of tainted that album a little bit for me. I've got a uh, I've got a 1977 press downstairs, which which sounds great. Um, and this, in parts, sounds great, but there's just some silly errors being made on it, and it's a little bit disappointing. I have been in touch with um, where I got my box set from to see if they're gonna um, accept any kind of you know partial refund I don't want all my money back because I've got lots of really really cracking material but I think I'm keen to get at least enough back so that I can buy this when they redo it as an ind independent release which will be in the um, probably in the new year usually about February March time they'll, they'll put all the main albums out for independent releases so I'll, I'll hold off um, sending my box back because I don't really want to do that uh, but that's a bit disappointing for them probably the most famous track as well um, we've got, I think, five, six different versions of that song in this box, I think it is. Uh, and the one that matters the most for me is the one on here, and they've got that wrong. Um, so that's disappointing, it really is. Um, but we, you know, we move on. We continue. Uh, next up, um, we've got the Heroes EP. Doesn't suffer with the same issues. Doesn't feel like it's been massively tended to. It just feels like it's a... It's just the versions that were there. They've not been remastered or anything like that. Well, if they have it, I can't really tell. Um, I didn't have the French versions, so it's quite nice to have those. Although, do I really need four versions of Heroes? It's a nice thing. It's a nice thing. I like it. It's a nice thing. If this was a Record Store Day release, I would have bought it. But in this box, I would have much rather have had something else. Um, possibly the Baal EP. The, the, the Brecht, sorry. The Brecht, uh, yeah, the Brecht EP would be would be really nice to have that mastered at 45, uh, done on a 12 inch. That would probably have, you know, hit me a little bit uh, more between the eyes. This is fine, it sounds great. I don't honestly know how many times I'm gonna listen to this. It's good for, for um, completism, so I've got all the different versions. 
Cool, next up we have Stage. I've got two versions of Stage here. Mm. Now, if I'm completely honest, the original version of Stage, which is on yellow vinyl, I haven't listened to it. And the reason I haven't listened to it is because it's in a different order. Um, this is not the set list order that he was doing on this tour. I know that this isn't all one gig. It's all, I think it's three or four different shows. But um, at least I don't think it is. Um, so this is different shows and it's all mixed up. And actually, I like the idea of some of this being kind of consecutive as the show runs. Also, for me, as an album, um, having uh, Warsaw followed by Heroes followed by What in the World works much better as an opener. Warsaw is fantastic on this. I absolutely love it. I think it sounds amazing. Um, it's, you know, it, it tests... Well, it doesn't tear strips off the original because the original sounds amazing as well but I just really like it as an alternative um, Heroes I'm not too sure about so there's seven versions of Heroes in this box sorry Heroes it's okay it's fine it's a live version it doesn't quite sound for me I quite like the original um, what else do I really like on here I really like Star I was questioning that in the first one I really like that I really like Station to Station on this it's not as good for me Station to Station as the Nassau live version from the last box uh, and the fact that he finishes with TCV15, I think it's cracking. I think that's great. That's not what you wouldn't imagine that would be his kind of finishing song. You'd think something like Life on Mars, but that's just, you know. So that, I'm really happy with that. Uh, mix wise, it sounds nice. I, you know, like I say, I haven't listened to the other one to compare it to. It sounds fine to me. I can hear everything fairly clearly. So no problem. Uh, next up, we have Lodger. So I've got this one here. Original Lodger, I say original, original version of Lodger, just remastered, and then new Visconti mix of Lodger. And um, I'll put this one down, put this there. So, the only criticism I've got of Lodger, the original album, is that I didn't really like the mix. I felt like it, it sounded like it'd be mixed in a restaurant toilet in, you know, <laughs> on the east side of Berlin, just after before the wall fell or something. It just sounds really rushed and um for an album with some really really great tracks on it it just i, I always really like the album and i still really like the album as it is um but it always felt a bit rushed and maybe maybe that was part of the character i don't know some people have commented already i've, I've seen on various forums and on my videos and stuff that actually um that's kind of why they like it is that kind of character and it's kind of really capturing the mood in certain parts of europe in 19 you know 70 Nine. But um, having read Visconti's notes in the um, in the hardback book that came with this, the, the remix version, um, it wasn't done just to fill the box up. It was something that was always wanted to be done. And it was done with Bowie's permission, and it was done with Bowie's blessing. And actually, um, it sounds amazing. It, uh, there are things that stick out. The, 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 the bass drum on pretty much all the tracks kicks you in the face like a mule. Um, I'm hearing guitar, subtle guitar melodies that I haven't heard before. I'm hearing vocal effects that are filling up the space in between my speakers beautifully. Whereas actually, on the original, you don't get that. It's quite flat. That version of the original, I have to say, is no better than the first press 1979 version that I've got downstairs. It's of no difference to my ears. But then I'm not a, I'm not a proper audio file. I don't sit and analyse it. I listen to it for enjoyment. Um, and um, I can't tell it. I, and I have compared it between this remaster and the original version. I can't tell much a difference. Whereas this sounds like an entirely different beast. And it was the one I was most excited about, quite rightly. Because Visconti is an absolute god. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Wow. Wow, wow, wow. If you can get this album just on its own, ever, which I doubt because you can't get the Maslin mixes from the other boxes. That's a shame. Get it on eBay because it's the best bit of this box for me. For me. Uh, next up, we've got Scary Monsters and Super Creeps. It's not particularly in my favourite album by Bowie. I like it. It's got some great stuff on it and it's, it's important. I understand kind of where it is. That mix um, is a little bit clearer than my original 80, 80, 1980 press, sorry. Um, but it's you know, it doesn't blow my socks off. It's uh, If I'm going to play this album, I'll play this copy. Fine. Um, but it's not, you know, it doesn't stand out or kick me as much as, say, the Diamond Dogs remaster did or the um, the Man Who Sold the World remaster they did two in the Five Years Box two years ago. And, um, that, it doesn't hit me quite as hard as those ones. It, it's still nice. Um, and it's Bowie, so I'm always going to like it. But um, it's not... 
it's not as earth shattering for me. Um, what else have we got then? So we've got the Recall 3. So what we've got on here? Heroes, um, so that's the other version of Heroes. So we've got four, plus the one on the album, plus the live one, plus this one. So that's seven versions of Heroes. And this is the single version. Fine, Beauty and the Beast, Breaking Glass, the Assassin single version, which is actually really nice. I really like the single version of that. And DJ, Alabama song, which is weird. Um, always thought that the Space Oddity 1979 version is nice to have that. I didn't have a version of that. Ashes to Ashes Fashion, Scary Monsters and Super Creep single version, all of those. Crystal Japan Under Pressure single version. Mm. Cat People Putting Out Fire, which was for the uh, for the soundtrack of Cat People. Uh, Peace on Earth, Little Drummer Boy, who's being Crosby. Fine. These are all fine, and they all sound fine. It's actually quite a nice compilation. What I, what would be really nice is actually when they've done all the boxes would be if they just released the recall. Um, the recall things just as maybe a six CD box set or just as a playlist on um, Spotify or whatever because I'd probably go for that. There's quite a lot of nice stuff on here. It's you know, it's got most of the singles from this period on here. Um, and then side four is the Baal EP Baal's Hymn, Remembering uh, Maria A, Ballad of the Adventurers, Drowned Girl, and the Dirty Song. That for me, I really like side four. And like I said earlier, I really like the Brecht. Uh, the, the, the Brecht Bar EP that he did, so it's a shame that we don't get a bit more of that in, in the form of a nice, you know, EP. Although I wouldn't put that out of Record Store Day kind of remit. So that's what I think. Um, I'm not precious about anything that I've said, and I might change my mind on some of it. I might grow to love it. I might get over the, the heroes thing. I see people sending their boxes back left, right and centre on comments and forums and stuff and that's up to them and that's fine I respect that. Um, I'm not because I'm getting far too much out of enjoyment out of the things in the box that I do like. I like the Lodger, I like Low, um, the, the remix of Lodger, I like Low, I like the live album, I really, you know, the recall is good, I like it, it's solid and the book is fantastic. It's got loads of really interesting stuff in there. There's a lovely um, interview with, with Bowie, I think it must be around the kind of heroes, just before heroes I think it is. Really interesting um, interview in there with him. Things I could do without mistakes please Bowie Camp. Please Rhino, make sure you get somebody to listen to it on a high end speaker set, somebody that knows what they're doing and they're going to pick up on any of those little mastering issues that we've been picking up on, particularly on the forms. Things like the original Lodger not sounding any different, if anything it sounds a little bit more fuzzy to my ears. Um, um, scary Monsters not really doing anything for me. It's It sounds great, it sounds better than the copy I've got but you set the standard high with other boxes I have to say and the heroes debacle, I mean really, really that's a tough one. So we'll see what my the people that I bought the box off say. I've, I've basically said to them I'd be happy um, if you know, I'd feel resolved if I got um, a, a you know a gift voucher to cover the cost of some of the cost of buying the Heroes album when it comes out, so I can take that nice Heroes album in February March time, put it in this box, and then take that one out of the box and make a clock out of it and put it on the wall. I'd be happy with that. Even just a token, just something to say, yeah, fair enough, we got it wrong. You know, I've spent hundreds and hundreds of pounds on Bowie vinyl and books and stuff over the last decade of my life so it would be nice to think that that is valued in some way by the people that create these artifacts these must-have items already um the plates are spinning on what's going to be in the next box um uh, glass spider almost definitely it's got to be in there i don't really need two versions though thank you very much um never let me down tonight uh, let's dance is my is my guess with Recall 4, uh, a couple of live ones in there, probably Glass Spider, and then they'll, they'll have something from the mid 80s, mid to mid to late 80s. Would they go as far as Tin Machine? Maybe. Do I really need Tin Machine in my life? No. Um, <clears throat> I've got the originals, that's far too much already, thank you. Um, they're going to have to pull out all the stops on the next box. I mean, they're going to be throwing bells and whistles at it. There's going to be coloured vinyl, it's going to be extra artwork, you probably find the book's going to be a bit thicker with lots more information, unseen photographs and all that stuff. Um, I'm a completist, as you kind of already gleaned, so I'm probably going to buy it regardless. Um, but still, I like to feel like I'm getting something nice for my money. This box, if there was one other album in it that was of not perfect quality for me, it would be going back. But like I say, there's there's over half of it that I absolutely adore. The other half of it, meh. 
but then have a think about that. I don't listen to pinups very often from the first. I don't listen to the first David Bowie album from the first box very often. I don't listen to the Goucher, Gouster, sorry, very much from um, from the from the last box. I don't listen to the Santa Monica. So I don't listen to all of the stuff from all the boxes. I've got favourite things from each box. It just means that those things are not going to be in those favourites, and that's a real shame, especially in the case of Heroes. It really is a bit of a shame. Okay. Please um, add comments, um, talk to me, let me know what you think. If you disagree, great. Tell me what you think, tell me why you think it. But, you know, I'm open for good, honest debate. And, um, I, you know, every comment I read grows my mind in terms of how I interpret things as well. So um, please don't, don't hold back on that front. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at underscore vinyl underscore junkie, i.e underscore and uh, comment and interact with me that way if you see fit um there's no bowie scheduled now for a little while so i don't know what to do my next video on so please help please give me some suggestions let me know what i should be looking at maybe there's something i've tweeted or instead that i've been listening to and you want a bit more detail about it or maybe there's a generic overriding vinyl kind of thing that you want to know okay take care of yourselves and i uh, hope to speak to you soon bye now